What's going on, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Got some binds recently, very exciting stuff. If you all remember, months ago I was prepping a Death Note all-in-one edition for custom binding and some Planets manga volumes. We got them. We got them. They're finally done. They're fantastic. I can't wait to uh, look into them and talk about why I did this, why I'm excited to do it again in the future um, with, with other mangas that I may be interested in. Um, I'm really excited with how these turned out, and I can't wait to show you all. I'm very, very excited for it. Before we get into that, I do want to mention OrganicPriceBooks.com, our sponsor, our incredible sponsor. With the promo code THC2 at checkout, you'll get an extra $2 off your order. You can pre-order, you can back order, you can order things that are available. Um, if you follow Organic Price Books on Instagram, you'll know whatever's back in stock right away. JP's awesome with that. He's awesome with also, also showing you insider info on the business itself so you can understand what goes into it, why things are priced the way they are, shipping the way they are, things like that. Amazing service, can't recommend them enough. Let's take a look at these volumes. Looking at the Death Note volumes here, they're, they're very cute. They're very cute little books. Um, of course, they're you know, relatively uh, smaller than the rest of the comics that I have. I mean, they're 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 manga volumes. So, um, I just took the all-in-one volume and basically split it across three here. So I'll show you guys the size difference. If you've never seen a manga versus a comic book, the left is a Western comic custom bind, and then the right was a, is a manga. It's the Death Note volume, of course. Um, so. Death Note and Planets are the two um, the two mangas that I had bound. You can see the the slipcase from the all-in-one edition. Of course, the hardcover doesn't fit in there anymore. It's slightly taller now, and they're of course way wider. So all three books will definitely not fit into the uh, the slipcase that the all-in-one edition came with. But um, I'm super super happy with how these turned out. They're actually so easy to read. They literally fit in the palm of my hand, and I can just hold them. Um, in these three volumes, like I said, collect the entire story um, by Tsugumi Yoma and Takeshi Obata. Uh, Death Note, amazing, amazing series about uh, about a young man who finds a, a notebook that turns out to be a Death Note, where uh, wherein if you write someone's full name, um, bad stuff happens to them; they die. Um, and he has this Shinigami with him who follows him around and sort of whispers in his ears whether it's good things bad things i'll let you find out if you haven't read the series there is of course an anime for it as well um that i that i think is fantastic um i think is really really good but um the manga is you know the 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 source it's the original code if you will it's the it's the source code um, so I highly recommend that, but um, I love this. I love this. They're super small books, but it's the price you pay with manga, and I honestly think having done this, I would love to do this with more volumes. Nothing against the hardcovers that have been officially released by, um, you know, Viz Media. Um, the Dark Horse ones are actually fantastic. I don't think Custom Binds compete with those, but I know Viz, Viz Media has released hardcovers for things like Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, their hardcovers are lacking a little bit. They're very nice, beautiful designs, the paper quality is great, but in terms of actually being able to read the volume comfortably, um, they don't really have much going on for them. So I think I may keep doing this with other uh, with other manga volumes as I feel, you know, a, a a strong desire to bind them or reread a series. I can't say there are many manga series that I I feel a desire to reread or revisit every once in a while, but Death Note is certainly one of them. Um, as you guys have seen, the binding's actually pretty good. There's a bit of gutter loss, but you know, nothing nothing to cry about. Um nothing I guess more than you would see from like a regular hardcover. Um, and especially, you know, with mangas, they have really good margins on the inside of each page. So for the most part, there isn't really much gutter loss in any of these three volumes. Um, and in terms of how I split the all in one edition up, um, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm truly forgetting exactly what, uh, what chapters it was I stopped things at, but, um, I, I basically just tried to look for, you know, an, an even number of, an even number of pages and then the closest chapter in order to maintain that even number of changes. Um, I think chapter 35 is the last one I included in volume one. 
Um, and I imagine something in the 70s is where I stopped Volume 2, and uh, of course Volume 3 just wrapped up the entire book, but as you saw when all three of them were side by side, they're, they're relatively even. It wasn't too tough to try and find uh, good points to stop this at. Um, of course, if you're doing this with other manga volumes, I would I think in the future, if I were to take regular manga volumes and, and bind them into hardcovers, you can maybe do two manga volumes into one hardcover, but we'll see what happens. I really love the way this turned out, and I highly recommend anyone who's on the fence with binding regular-sized manga volumes, um, go for it. It's a great, great time. So the other book uh, that I had done is Planets by uh, Makuro Yukimura. Unfortunately, um, I, I don't know if I misspelt this in my form. I don't think I did, but um, pl Planets on the Spine is not written the way it's written in the series. It's written as Planets, the correct spelling, I guess, of the English word. Um, anyway that's that's neither that's it's a minor minor inconvenience i guess minor problem but either way i've got the two dark horse volumes bound into hard covers now i had read the trade paperback volumes three times maybe four times up until this point before binding them so i was very familiar with the series i adore it um, a, a really fantastic, fantastic story. I love Yukimura. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the name, just looking at it, if you've watched the Vinland Saga anime that's, I think, available on Amazon Prime now, if you've read that manga, um, that's the same dude, same gentleman. So this is a spacefaring story about this uh, group of um, astronauts that's exploring, uh, well, garbage collectors, I should say, <laughs> space garbage collectors that are, uh, that have crazy adventures and encounters along the way, a great personable story with amazing characters, um, great histories, a great little universe built around it, and, um, hilarious dialogue, great, great, great small bits of action, um, and really a great slice of life piece, uh, looking at humans who, who spend a lot of time in space. It's a nice exploration of the idea, but all I did here was take the two, um, trade paperbacks that Dark Horse had released and had each one of those bound. Um, you can see the, the, the binding's pretty solid here again. Um, you know, the book, this book is a bit tougher to lay flat, I'm not blaming the color pages, but they are a bit thicker than the, the regular black and white pages, so they, they do make uh, the book stand a little erect when you're trying to hold it flat. But i um, very excited to reread these volumes again, now in hardcover format. They also just fit in the palm of my hand and will be an absolute easy and fun pleasure to read. Um, I, I'm re I really can't recommend doing this with manga volumes enough, especially if we're going to Lehman Book Binding. They seem to be able to handle it well. Um, you know, I, I'm, I can't wait to reread these. And uh, if any of my thoughts change, I will be sure to let everyone know. But in the meantime, I'm definitely going to be enjoying uh, the crap out of these volumes. So let us know down in the comment section below. Have you custom bound any manga? Is this something you'd be interested in? Um, let us know what you thought of about how these turned out. If there's maybe something I didn't even notice that was wrong with the books that you may notice, um, let us know down in the comment section below. I hope everyone's been doing well, staying safe and sound. It's the year of custom buying still. We only got four months left, but it's not over yet. Keep it going. Um, and I will be, I'll definitely be talking about more custom buying soon. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.